So we are on the map Higurashi Forest. In the bottom side, you have the orange Rohan player Mostafa playing against the green counter player. Who is this one? The beast. He's playing against the beast. He's going for one blacksmith, which is pretty good. You can go blacksmith, you can start with a barrack. I mean, in this game. You can start with, you can go for a barrack and then make like some combos of doom to deal with the uh, upcoming Rohirrims, but this can also work. Here there is a big map, Rohan needs to make a lot of peasants and Gondor needs to defend. Now, he's, he will be able to spot these two peasants, Hobbits will need to move. He's still going for the farm with the soldiers, even though he will lose his farm, not that best. That good, not, not, that, not that good. That's what I wanted to say. Draft will be used once again, and he will just push. Pretty good. He wants to deal as much damage as he can. He doesn't care if he takes damage. He knows if he can destroy Gondor economy, he's gonna win the game. That's the spirit. Never mind. <laughs> I guess this also works if you want to defend yourself. This army is gonna be taken down. He instead of fighting can just run around the base. Exactly what he's doing here. And now the stable will be up. The stable, it's too early. You need to have at least one more farm available. He's going for this farm. Maybe even one more farm inside the base because it's gonna be 10% off. With one more 15%, it's a bit better. So just will be able to take down this farm also. And the stable is available. And already a Roh and Rohirrim is cooking while a knight it's waiting. He's cash loading. He's not cash loading anymore. Rohan will be also able to keep the goblin. Level 1 Hobbit. Level 2 Hobbit. I don't think this is gonna be enough to creep. Maybe it will, I think it will be actually. And Banner came just in time. Now with swords, easy creep. Goblin and work. Perfect. Now Gondor will also go to creep. A bit later then. Rohan, but let's see. More peasants are coming up, they will creep, and now Rohims will move to deal damage. Knights will be able to catch some peasants, but the money will be already captured. Zero creeps now for the knights. Only this creep here, and the last creeps are these two works, because this goblin layer will be taken down. There are some peasants there that are watching. Now the second knight will be made. Now after the second night, you need to get Ooh, Micro in the Hobbit, but it's not gonna be enough. After the second night, you need to make up the base. Also, instead of having like a blacksmith here and a farm here, you can have a leave a spot, for example, or here or here to have a well, so the knights can get fast in the base, fast out the base. Fast in the base, fast out the base. So like the farm here would be a better place. LP. Now, so just are creeping also the work. Hobbit and peasants creeping the work. Hobbit and so just creeping the work. Perfect. He's surviving the Hobbit. He's level three. What he can do is to cloak the Hobbit around the farm to have a surprise for when the knights are attacking. Elven would be used, but kind of bad because you cannot fight against our teams like that. As you can see now, the well will be built in the backside. He has three knights on the field, so his economy is not that good. He doesn't want to, he doesn't need to go upgrades, he just needs to make up his base. Rohan has the map control in his hands, basically. These two creeps have helped Gondor a bit. Why we are watching this? Because most of us said it and he said it's a fiesta game. Gondor is bot. I mean, it might not be. Or he archers. Maybe it will be. I mean, he's losing knights. That's true. But maybe it will be a super, super bad ant rush with uh, some crazy comeback.
most of our message is ultra mega fiesta gondor against rohan let's see what ultra mega fiesta means for him so he lost one night now rohini matches are on the move here's there is a final thing he lost something that he lost something there but he didn't Croat, do you know any other games that are crazy, like from uh, Pistolero or something like that, that we can cast later on after this one? Because let's see, most of us is going for the end rush. Will it work? We shall see. Knights taking out the farm. They have Forge Blades. They also have Forge Blades. You don't want to focus this. I watched two games. He's trying to focus down the Rohidims because he has upgrades, he knows, he knows he can take them down. He deleted the stable, he needs to get the statue, but... And also the Faramir was pretty good. Meanwhile, Rohan is losing the map. You don't want to wait here, you just want to pressure the map more. But now Enmut is available. And it will be used. Rohidim will be also recruited. Here I like to go for the... Uh, for Aragorn. Okay, Bonding Arrow, pretty nice, now you want to hit them, or hit the marches, what are you doing, why, why are you not hitting? Faramir needs to focus down, this end, this end, it's on his own, going in the base, going outside the base, one part of the world will be destroyed, this one will be taken down pretty soon, and now the ends will go in. One more hit, and the world will be destroyed. And, boom, careful with Theodin. Because Wanding Arrow on Teodin can hurt, it can hurt, he will be used by the Gondor player, and he's still alive, and destroying everything. And the, the Knights are running. Stadel will go down. But now, if Rohan cannot end it fast, it will be bad, because he doesn't have that much map control. Gondor has pretty good money, pretty good map control. I don't see Aragorn coming anytime soon. Aragorn will be also good, but it, in this game we don't have it. And Gondor will be able to defend so, so far. Faramir, level 4. Sedel was taken down. And two spots in the base, like the well and the statue. There are some peasants, you can just eat them, basically. Get some free experience. And these are one, two, only two knights on the field. Only two knights on the field. I will restore hope to men. Yes, Flavius, what is that? Full image, please. Okay. Aragorn is here, he knows he wants to go for Aragorn. Now Aragorn can deal a lot of damage. Boromir needs to be recruited to defend this better. Damage on the farms. Now Gondor, map control, it's gone. Has only this farm outside. Damage and Theodin is dead. This is just sniping. Now the knights are going in, but Boromir is here to knock Aragorn down, if you are not paying attention. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, armor leadership, it's here. Let's see, why you don't go in already? Try to go for the statue, did some damage, he's getting some upgrades now. This Rohirrim match is not doing anything. And right now, uh, Gondor is not, doing, is not looking bad. He's repairing one part of the wall. He's saving for Gandalf at this point. Now, that's the point where the comeback can be. Making both parts of the wall. Now he's baiting, I, I think. He doesn't want exactly to make them full. He wants to wait until he has like 2,000 something money here and then cancel both parts of the wall. 
and then uh, ooh, almost died till he has both parts of like he wants to have some 2000 resources here gonna play then cancel them and then go for gandalf that's the plan you should not wait for them in my opinion just go for gandalf i think that is better but i think he's actually gonna build it all and get rohirrims and get knights to fight for the map control faramir eating the farm now he's chasing now he's changing now he's focusing the rohirrim aragon is just chilling in front of the base what is happening wonder got quite a lot of money to rebuild both parts of the wall which is quite impressive boromir is not doing anything here boromir could be sent to deal damage to aragorn boromir can knock down aragorn now rohan will lose one night here to faramir maybe we'll lose even the second one if it, if he doesn't pay if he doesn't pay attention yeah this is doesn't look like a fiesta game for me oh oh it, canceling the part of the world going for gandalf i mean i think now for you to not get bored we can just skip it a bit some fighting guard going to try to deal damage there also nice trying to deal damage gandalf is on the field now he's gonna do let's just keep a bit more like just to try to get the fiesta out of this game let's see this gandalf might be a problem lightning sword will be wasted there is an aragorn now you can send all the heroes go all out on aragorn history light boromir knock him down faramir wanting arrow you can easily kill him but looks like that is not happening again if you go for the map control and what is rohan doing rohan going for the arch range he needed to go also for eomer you need eomer leadership eomer leadership have eomer just spear them and that's enough Ganaf is moving here is Aragorn with Anduril, some archers in the back, Theoden leadership, Aragorn leadership, and now Kenaf is moving. He's going for the barrack. Maybe he wants some tower guards to defend the base. Kenaf is chasing. You cannot kill Gandalf right now with anything. He's going, a blast will be made and will hit only one horse. And he's already half dead. Let's just skip a bit more. Bam. Change the language. Okay. Knights pressuring. Every, I like. He's splitting the knights. That's good. Here you could also send these ones here already. And they will capture and then move. Capture. Yeah, splitting the map. Gandalf trying to deal damage. You can also use Easter Light on horses just to get experience. You don't always need to hit or blast. Careful Gandalf, careful Gandalf, he needs to be used. If he would not be used there, then Gandalf would die. Open the gate, go with the heroes. Paramir is just getting bored out there. Let's just put it more. There is a fight happening on the bottom side. The knights are killing the Rohirrim, they are escaping. Map control is changed. Eomer will be also recruited. Recruited? Wait. Already has some levels. He died and I missed it. Gandalf with a blast. He doesn't have a blast. Gandalf. He's teasing with Gandalf so much. No, I want to catch when he will die. If he will die. Let me just keep a bit more. Okay, fight here. Easter Light will be used. Nice here with the Easter Light. And Gandalf is being targeted once again. Elmer is getting some levels. Aragorn is also here. Most of I don't know what you call Fiesta, but so far this is not a Fiesta game. Maybe late game will be crazy. Usually late games are crazy. Now Tau guards are moving. They are full upgrades. Nice picture. They have different model. No. Okay, fighting here. Knights are moving, fighting. Now. Also, Gandalf is here. Bormi is here. And Lightning Sword will be against, again wasted. 
Faramir should be moved outside. He has level 5. He can give leadership also to the knights. Let's move. Aragorn is fighting. Aragorn is fighting. Now he's running. We are the Rohirrim archers. We need the Rohirrim archers. Okay. Now he is waiting once again. Let's just keep a bit more. Boom. Here. Gandalf. Nice blast. Can he kill all of them? Don't think so. Six. Level 6. He's moving all his army in one place. So far I can see that Mostafa doesn't know how to split his army. Sorry Mostafa. But you need to split your army man. You have Rohirrims with Rohirrim marches and stuff. You can move Rohir Rohirrim here. Oh well, look. Tau guards outside. Move Rohirrim marches here. Try to catch them. You leave... Elmer in the back, you need to get Elmer level 4 as fast as possible for the 70% extra damage. Okay, let's. It's in the late game, let's see some more late game. Here they, there will be a spear throw. Bam! It's getting closer and closer. Gandalf can use Easter Light when you, he's using Easter Light on heroes. He's playing like 3v3. <laughs> yes, it's like a 3v3. <laughs> When, when Gandalf is using history light, he can also has a chance to knock down the heroes. Okay. Trebuchet action after marketplace. This is full turtle gameplay. Let's see. It's moving. I like that Gondor is keeping up the pressure. What I don't like is that he's keeping all of them together. He could already have one here, one here and one here. And he can also try to move some like some tower guards if he really wants with Gandalf power and stuff. He can do some damage. Now they are fighting. There are lot, lots of Rohiri marches. Um one also went for the Brent Harvest, which is pretty good. Elmer level, can we see the Elmer level? Boom yeah. here. Also, here when you use Elmer spear like that, you also want to have Theodin close to Elmer so they can share experience. So Theodin can get level 3, level 4 faster. Because if, if you spear and you put Theodin near Elmer, also Theodin is getting some experience. So now let's see. That was just a fight for the map. Let's, let's check the power points meanwhile. Gondor has heal, land, Gandalf the White. The next power point probably will be Cloudbreak. Because that's the, that's the fastest for Theodin and you want to get fast Theodin. Lighting sword, nice bait with the tau gas. Lighting sword will be a good one. Level 7 candle for most. I can smell where this is going. I can smell the water power. 6 power points for Gondor. And most of our pit Anduril pit land is quite far from AOD. Blessed, what are you doing, Gandalf? What are you cooking? Blessed, cancelling. Nice. Gimli is also here. He's placing X, nice, but the blast did not really count. Good. They are fighting each other. The Rohirrim is taking this one here, needs to move a bit more. For the map controller, letting Gonor have map control when he doesn't, when he doesn't need to do, have map control. We see three trebuchets in the base. I think there will be some satisfying hits. Spear not doing any damage to the tower guards. Are you? Wait, are you also gonna play one vian? Maybe I'm gonna play one vian, yeah. If there are no more Hiesta replays that, that they can find. This was more like a chill stream with a replays. I miss talking in English. <laughs> okay, can we have extra, extra, extra? He's keeping him close, that's nice, but. This is what it is. Paramir is getting out the base. He will go and send and give the leadership. Gandalf needs to run. Now he can smell nothing interesting. Or maybe something will happen. Gandalf is going, pressing X. Nice. I'm not even pressing X that good. Blast! To beautiful blast. Level 7 Gandalf. He's using lightning swap. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Careful now, Gandalf! Extra! Not used. But it's pretty good. 
Gondor is maintaining the map control. That's what I like. Map control. Map control. We have the new bomb. I mean, here also, like, Rohan picked Elven Woodman. Elven Woodman, he did not really need to. But Gondor is making an army in his basement. Trebuchets, Rangers, Tower Guards, everything. Command point scared also. Okay, is getting outside. Let's check one more. Let's just keep a bit more. Trebuchets hitting the farms. Let's just keep, let's just keep. Okay, fighting here. Happening. The knights but positioning. Getting cut. And the level 4 Eomer. Yeah, fast forwarding a bit. Let's see. Gandalf level 7. Okay, not doing anything. Can he get something? Oh! I mean, the execution was there, but uh, in uh, practice, was not the best. <laughs> it was a big come up there, like he was preparing cloud break. Um, Elven Wood, but the execution a bit sloppy there. Was able to catch only three horses. They are still slow, but now they are going. Gandalf will go. He's using his castling he needs to run in the back. In the base. They are dealing damage. Now the combos will be out. He's also getting the trebuchets. Can the trebuchets go? Trebuchets can go to the postern gate. What is this? Argon in the front. He's dealing damage. The Rohiri marches are also dealing damage. They are fighting. Faramir is keeping it 1 HP. The trebuchets now are coming to deal damage. When he will be used. Argon level 6. Gandalf is coming with the history light. And he will be able to kill. Aragorn level 8, Gandalf. Faramir is running it down with 1 HP. The auto hit for 2 more damage. Maybe the auto hit will do more damage, true. This fight was not that bad. Not not getting close to AOD. But now he doesn't have any knights on the field and he is going it. Well, if you look, how, look at his face. Well, trebuchet, archery range. Barrack stable. Let us scout for Gondor. Then I'm also pushing from the bottom side. There's also bottom level. Level 2. Let's just fast forward a bit. Boom. Hit. Siege. Have begun. Stable is up. Look the money from Gondor. Gondor doesn't care. He's able to come back. From losing his citadel, he's able to come back. But look, sneaky Rohirrim is coming from the from the backside. They are going inside the base. Oh, never mind. They are going inside the base. Okay, probably they will also die. Am I right? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's moving. No, no, no. I'm not gonna die. Okay, there is a Gimli. He's using extra. I think he got two with one hit. I was watching the Rohirrim miss that hit. Easter Lloyd will be cancelled. That's good. Give me his level 3. Now he's preparing the attack. Legolas will also be summoned. Argon is being revived. Eowyn is being recruited. He's going all in. Hawk strike. Not gonna do any damage. But now trips are going. Gonna send the base. Boromir is inside the base. They will be destroyed. This a world needs to be aware of. Boromir. 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 Kill Boromir. Kill Boromir. And Boromir, not dead. Nice extra by Gimli. Gimli can do a nice leap here. And Gandalf can do a nice wizard blast here also. Level 2, there is Eomer with leadership. So it's, ooh, I said about it. Using heal everything on Gimli. And Gimli is dead. I mean, if you don't have follow up, don't go for it. <laughs> you can also, I mean, you don't need Gimli to exactly deal damage to units. You can just have him to stun them temporarily like hit like jump deal some damage and they will be stunned because they will fly away now aragorn with andriel will go for the trebuchet never mind he's not getting knocked down by boromir and atelas will be used he needs to run he is not available he needs to run there is no statue there is no well inside the base in this trebuchet is dealing a lot of damage he needs to get beautiful blast <laughs> Well, only Lenny was missing, but still a lot of them died. Still alive. Gana, uh, Argon is running around. And someone to trap on all the combos. And I think Gandalf died. Bormin is still alive, but Bormin will die soon. Eowyn is dead. Theodin is dead. Eomer is dead. Bormin is dead. And Eowyn will be summoned by the Gondor player. I mean, at this point, you should just wait with that summon, man. 
you just wait he's sending in the banner the level three and the banner level four is going in the base it's going for the statues there are some knights the knights are still knights not going in what is going to rohan power points rohan doesn't have power points there is only a level seven legolas if you would kill with aod the legolas that could change the battle but legolas oh, look, wait. you should just go for it just go for it no way he lost all the heroes gandalf level eight gandalf knights are going in but this guy has arrow wind he can demolish all the knights they are not upgraded they have some upgrades but they're still gonna die against legolas 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 come on with a hit legolas come on come with a hit rohan still has some kind of economy which is pretty nice there's four thousand so it's something like that but now the army is repeat mode level nine faramir how often you see level nine faramir what are the levels check the levels Level 7 Aragorn, level 3 Gimli, level 4 Eomer, level 1 Eowyn, level 2 Theodin. Now the map control is bad. He's reviving the heroes instantly. Doesn't care about farms, doesn't care about anything. He just make here. Okay, he's making some units now to get the map control. But now the push will come. When that wizard blast here, that, that's changed everything. Net fight. Combos, Faramir, and some knights against a guy with out. hope. <laughs> Who is gonna win this? Don't underestimate Arrowwind. Arrowwind can deal a lot of damage. Look, Arrowwind, 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 it's level 7. Never mind, it's useless. I mean, deal some damage. It deals some damage, that's nice. Boom, Hog Strike. Can Legolas deal enough damage? Let's focus on the combo. Now some Rohirrims need to be sent back. There is the Faramir that used one arrow. But the trample is incoming. He will be used to any defend. But he doesn't have any building inside the base left. He's making the Saddle. The Knight, the Rohirrim trying to defend. But they can't. Legolas is running away. The Knights will be taken down slowly but surely. Seven power points. He picked Cloudbreak to slow them down, but it's not gonna be enough. And Mostafa is gonna lose yet another game.